Linda Frisk is being evaluated by her doctor, a doctor who happens to be elsewhere, yet very much present in the room. And if you develop any weakness, any numbness, Dignity Health Hospitals have been using remote presence robots like this one to expand access to medical specialists. Yeah, it was like he was there. I did. Although I'm a little spoiled and I like to see them in person. This model, the RP Vita by InTouch Health, can drive itself. Doctors can beam into the machine from their computers, laptops, or iPads. And it allows for very quick evaluation of these patients. Hey, Ms. Fritz. So uh, it's just like being uh, hey, with the patient in the room. Me. So of course, you know, the, nothing could replace seeing these patients in person, but it's the next best thing. Dignity Health began using the robot several years ago to quickly diagnose stroke patients. It now uses the machines in emergency rooms and intensive care units at most of its 32 California hospitals. It, literally, we compress time and space with this technology. So no longer do, does distance uh, affect a person's ability to access the best care possible. Doctors say telemedicine machines allow them to reach more people in a timely manner. And I can see way more patients this way, and evaluate way more patients this way. You know, I'm going to London. Uh... Robots can also increase medical access in areas where there aren't enough doctors. Hospitals are now using this type of technology in order to leverage the specialists that they have even better and more efficiently. As more hospitals adopt robots, backers say time and location won't be barriers to quality medical care. Terry Che, Associated Press. Carmichael, California. Bye. See you later.